So here we are at uh, NASA's website, jplnasa.gov, <clears throat> and we're looking at the uh, photograph taken from the Cassini spacecraft from uh, the rings of Saturn some 870 million miles away. And here's the Earth. You can see that uh, it's uh, got sunlight on it, I guess, because it's uh, shining, right? I mean, it's reflective. It's not dark. So the first question is, where's the sun? Let's look a little closer here. It says here that it was taken on April 12th at 1041 Pacific Daylight Time or at 1.41 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Well, let's see what the... And it also says that it's a, it's a view of the Southern Atlantic Ocean. The part of Earth facing Cassini at the time was the Southern Atlantic Ocean. So the Southern Atlantic Ocean must have had the sun on it in order for it to be reflecting. So let's see what, uh, what the time and date is uh, for the sunlight on that day at that time. So let's go to uh, time and date. Well, here we are. San Francisco time, which is Pacific time, at 10.48 p.m. Let's go back to NASA and see what time they said it was. 10.41 p.m. That's close enough. Let's go back. So, the southern Atlantic Ocean is in the middle of the night. There's not a lot of sun there. A little sun over here by Africa. Maybe that's what they're talking about. <clears throat> I'm not sure, but uh, let's see where the Earth is in its orbit in April of 2017 to see uh, where Saturn was in its orbit at the same time, and let's see if all this makes any sense. So uh, here we are. Um, showing a chart of the solar system and let's see the date is April 13th 2017 and you can see Earth right here so if we zoom out a little bit to keep our perspective you see the Earth, Venus, Mercury and the Sun and Mars way over here so let's zoom out a little bit keep your orientation where Earth is Zoom out a little more. Now we got Jupiter. Where's Saturn? Go a little further here. Earth is still right here. A little further. And there's Saturn. Now, according to this view, if the Cassini spacecraft was taking a photograph of Earth, The sun is on the opposite side of the Earth compared to where Saturn is. So I'm not sure if there would be any sunlight visible on Earth to Saturn in this position. Let's go back to the day and night map. When we look at what we got right here. So that means that this entire area here is facing the sun, and this entire area is in, in nighttime, and that's the southern Atlantic Ocean. So let's go back to that I'm sorry, there's a big problem here. First off, you know, based on the distance from Saturn to Earth, which is 840 million miles or something like that. 870, whatever it was. Let's see, NASA. 870 million miles. 
it seems like the sun would be visible in that picture. And, and based on the sun shining, you know, based on uh, day and night right here, the location of the Earth's orbit and the location of the, uh, the daily rotation, uh, I think there's a real problem with this. First, we would have to see the sun, and second, based on uh, day and night, uh, this is not in daylight here. Now, when they talk about the southern Atlantic Ocean is what we see there. Now, here they say this is the moon. But... It sure looks dark. If the earth is, you know, according to this photograph, you'd think the earth was facing the sun. The, uh, the sun was facing the earth right here and shining right on it. But in reality, we see here that the sun is on the other side of the earth. And Jupiter and Saturn's here. So Saturn's taking a photograph of this face of the earth Yet it looks like it's shining, like the sun's shining right on it. There's a real problem with this, man. And the moon has got no sun on it. Now I think NASA's got some explaining to do.